Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a review on the iPhone 10. I've waited this long before I do it because I really want to test it out like thoroughly before I do one. So this is going to be a real review. So I hope you enjoy it. So hi guys, um, now I'm going to do a list of likes. Um, um, what I do, don't like and what I do like about the iPhone 10. So what I don't like about it is that um, it has no fingerprint sensor and um, in the beginning I tended to like the iPhone 8 Plus more because it has the fingerprint sensor and Apple has trained us to use the fingerprint sensor for such a long time and it has an excellent fingerprint sensor. And also the battery life, I mean I've tried to use the iPhone 8 Plus um, for the same amount of usage and the iPhone 10 and although on paper the iPhone 10 claims to have a longer battery life I ended up with about 60% of battery at the end of the day with the iPhone 8 Plus but about only 20% of battery um, with the iPhone 10 and then the next thing that I don't like about it is the price I think $1200 is a bit too expensive for um, a phone um, in the phone game er uh, now because you can get phones like the OnePlus 5T for like $500 and um, it can do the same if not more and the next thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it has no expandable memory and the base model is only 64 gigabytes which is um, very small considering the fact that it has the ability to do the 4k video like 60 frames per second which is going to use a lot of memory so Apple I think the next time you come up with um, the next phone it should at least have 128 gigabyte storage then the next thing that I don't like about it is that it has no fingerprint sensor um, with phones like the Note 8 you have fingerprint sensors um, the um, facial scanner and also the iris scanner so you have options then there's no headphone jack but I'm not a headphone user so that doesn't really bother me at all and um, then the next thing I don't like about it is that it has fast charging but you have to pay for the fast charger and I think for such an expensive phone Apple should at least include a pair of wireless um, airpods as well as um, a fast charging brick and the next thing that I don't like about it is that it has no multitasking so um, um, true multitasking is that um, you can actually open two apps um, one on top of the other and um, so that you can be like watching YouTube videos and um, browsing the internet at the same time like what the Note 8 can do and um, then um, it has no NFC so um, with people that has um, a Bluetooth devices that they like to connect to it I think that there's um, a lot more convenience offered if there's NFC and the next thing that I don't like about it is that it has no app drawer so when you have opened your phone up um, all the apps are like displayed on your phone which means that um, you will have a lot of pages um, on your phone whereas with a phone that has an app drawer you can hide your apps in the app drawer so this is the app drawer here and um, so that when you don't use the, those apps your pages can be like very short and then there's no customization so everybody's phone looks the same whereas with the phones that has customization you can see that like my 
Note 8 here has like um, icons that look different and yeah, it's more customizable. And there's also no clear all option. So you, when you have to clear the apps that you use, you have to close them one by one and um, I think that's very inconvenient whereas with a lot of phones there you can have um, clear all options and um, the next thing that I don't like about it which is the last thing is that it has only two color options so I think with such an expensive phone you should at least have like four colors to choose from and um, Apple's just gonna like make a red edition or something like that and then force you to change your phone and pay I mean pay extra money to change your phone so that's what I don't like about it so now I'm gonna talk about things that I do like about this phone so the first of all is the build quality the build quality of this phone is like a1 it has like it feels like very premium on the hand and um it has stainless steel bezels which is more protective when you like drop your phone and um although the thing that i don't like about it is that the stainless steel scratches very easily so the next thing that i don't like about it that I like about it is the AMOLED display and you can see that the colors are very vibrant compared to the um, iPhone 8 Plus which only has an LCD display so um, this AMOLED display is manufactured by Samsung and as you can see the two have like very similar um, Sort of like sharpness and um, colorful um, screens and that's what I like about it and then um, the gestures yeah it's a learning curve and it takes a while I mean it takes about only one day to learn it but actually the the swiping gesture is a lot faster you know like to get out from one app to another it's actually faster than using the home button and um, the next thing I like about it is the vertical cameras. The vertical cameras make it stand out and I think that um, for paying such a high price for your phone, um, having a vertical camera makes you stand out and makes your phone stand out so that people know that you have a nice phone. Although like having a nice phone doesn't define your, your um, personality. But I just think that it's a good thing about it. And the last thing that I really like about it is that it has a lot of access accessories to choose from. Um, for phones like the iPhone 10, which is so popular and sought after, if you go to, on Amazon or like websites to search for accessories, you can scroll for days, and um, there will still be like accessories that are available, like cases and things like that whereas with phones like the galaxy phones and things like that um i think you'd have like a lot less choices so in general my likes outweigh my dislikes and i'm absolutely in love with this phone especially for the fact that i'm a great apple fan so yeah i hope you liked my uh, review about the iphone 10 and if you do please give this video a like and a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and um thanks for watching guys i love you all bye